Come to the stage now, Zach McGovern, everybody give Zach a big hand! Hello everybody, thank you for coming. All right, people in the front row talking right away, good start. We're in five minutes, shut the fuck up, all right? I'm a recently single person, uh, about a month and a half out of a relationship, she broke up with me. Yeah, yeah, I'm an asshole, you're right. Uh, she broke up with me, I'm still in the heartbreak portion of it. So I've just been going out to bars, giving out that sad dick. Yeah. Here you go, I apologize for that. I don't know how I feel about it. I like being in a relationship, because when I was in one, we knew a lot of stuff about each other, right? That's one of the good things about it. Being single, I gotta deal with girls doing stuff I don't like sometimes. I'll give you guys an example. I don't like dirty talk during sex. Anybody else? <laughs> no, just a packed room full of dirty bastards, huh? <laughs> Maybe you agree with me, I'll tell you why. I don't like dirty talk during sex because I just respond honestly to dirty talk. <laughs> That's my problem, right? I was having sex with this girl one time and she was like, you gonna make me come, huh? You gonna make me come? And I was like, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I like how you look at him, like, eh. <laughs> Being single, I had to do all the dating websites. I'm on all of them. I'm on Tinder, I'm on uh, Plenty of Fish, I'm on Match.com, I'm on OkCupid, I just joined BlackPeopleMeet.com. <laughs> they don't check, you just sign up for a profile, it's amazing. <laughs> I went on a date with a girl from BlackPeopleMeet.com recently, and as soon as I met her, she was like, you're not black. I was like, bitch, you're not petite, we both lose. <laughs> Let's just see this through. I mentioned Tinder. If you guys don't know what that is, that's a dating website that I love. It's my personal favorite. It's where they show you a picture of someone. If you don't like them, you swipe left. If you do like them, you swipe right, and it is super addictive. I spend all day left, 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 right, 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 left, left, left. And I also recently went on a girl uh, on a date with a girl from Tinder, and like 10 minutes in, she started being boring, so I started to swipe her face left. Yeah, I spent that night in jail, guys. Don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> I learned a lot from my ex-girlfriend, though. I feel like if you don't work out with someone, you should take what you can from it. The biggest thing she taught me is the better friends women are, the more evil you are to each other, okay? I know that sounds weird, but hear me out, okay? Better friends women are to each other, the more evil they are to each other. Learned that a week before her and I broke up. We went upstate, I'm from New York, went upstate, visited one of her friends. As soon as we got there, she puts the car in park, runs out, picks her friends up. She's like, oh my God, I miss you so much. I want you to come down to the city, I love you. I want you to come down, I want to buy you drinks, I want to buy you dinner, I want to find you a man, you look beautiful, that dress is amazing. Then we get back in the car, we're not in the car for 10 seconds. She looks over and goes, did you see what that stupid bitch was wearing? <laughs> that dress makes her look like she has Down syndrome. <laughs> well, that's pretty intense, right? I'm not saying guys aren't evil to each other, right? Guys, we're just as evil to each other. We're just a little more upfront about it, right? Guys are like, Jesus Christ. Did you see what Jim was wearing? Jim, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> You look retarded, man. <laughs> Being single, though, I'm really happy. I've been starting to improve myself. About a year ago, I got Invisalign. You guys know what that is? <laughs> oh, that's funny? All right, fuck you guys. <laughs> if you don't know what Invisalign is, it's braces. They're invisible. They cost me $5,000. Got them about a year ago. I recently realized that this is how I smile. I only smile with $2,500 worth of my smile. <laughs> so now that I've realized that, this is how I smile. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> You're like, that insane guy has great teeth. <laughs> Mention New York City. <laughs> That's where I live. I just like fun. <laughs> just won't make eye contact. Single, I'm fucking reaching here. I live in New York City. The other day before I came here, I had my first ever extended homeless person encounter. If you guys don't know what that is, that's when it goes past the one, two. The one where they ask for money, the two where you say yes or no. This guy literally started following me down the street. He's like, excuse me. Excuse me, sir, do you have any change? I was like, no, man, I don't have any change. He goes, I can hear it in your pockets. I was like, no, that's not change, that's my keys. He goes, no, it's not. I know the difference between keys and coins. <laughs> I was frustrated. I was like, first of all, why am I still talking to you? <laughs> Second of all, 
How do you know what keys sound like? You're homeless. You don't have keys to anything. And then he said, good point, and walked the other way. I won. Get out of here on this. I, uh, when I first went to New York, I lived in a neighborhood called Bed-Stuy. And if you don't know, if you ever heard of it, they have a, they have a motto for Bed-Stuy called, do or die, Bed-Stuy. <laughs> So when I lived there, in order not to die, I used to carry around a knife in my jacket at all times, just in case shit got real. And shit got real when I forgot I had that knife in my jacket and wore it to the airport. I got through security fine, obviously my jacket did not. As soon as I got through, the TSA officer was like, sir, why do you have a knife in your jacket? And I immediately got super nervous, so I just said the first thing that came to my mind, which is, ah, in case I have to stab anybody on the way home. <laughs> Stay in New York that year, guys. I'm Zach Barber. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.